Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have this SSD from XPG. This is the Gamix S7. And the reason why you'd want to purchase this SSD is because it's two terabytes of SSD storage. But not only that, its read speeds go all the way up to 3,500 megabits per second, and its write speeds go all the way up to 3,000. And on top of that, it also has DRAM, so it won't take your SSD all that long to find the files uh, inside it. So Today, I'm just going to do a little unboxing of this. I'm going to set it up in my PC. I'm going to do a little couple benchmarks. And uh, we're going to see if the specs on paper actually um, translate onto raw performance. Alright everyone, so I'm going to unbox the product now. Uh, I've already shown you the front and the back of the box. I'll show you guys a little bit more around the whole thing. Including the sides and the top and bottom. There we go. There seems to be two tapes, uh, one on each side right here. Cut those off. There we go. There we go. Quite simple packaging actually, there's nothing else inside there. So this is it. Uh, let's take this out right now. And there we have it. It's quite a small little M.2, uh, but yeah, M.2's, I assume this is the regular size for M.2, I'm not sure if there's any other sizes, but I know there's different connection ports for M.2's, I believe, but I might be wrong on that. But yeah, there it is. I'm gonna now put this into the, into my PC, and we're gonna do some benchmarks. By this point in the video, I have so far just installed the Gamix S7 into my PC, so now I will showcase the data I have collected from my benchmarking. These benchmarks will contain my previous 2TB Seagate hard drive's performance results and the Gamix S7's performance results. As for the benchmarks, I tested the boot up speed in Windows, Grand Theft Auto 5, Valorant, and Call of Duty Warzone. I have also used Crystal Dismark in my testing, and so here are the results.
benchmarks, we can see that there is a clear performance increase overall. However, the increase in performance depends highly on the type of work at hand. For example, Valorant experienced less improvement than Modern Warfare. As for the Windows boot up test, it had experienced the greatest improvement out of all my benchmarks. However, I'm not sure if Windows was installed properly on my previous hard drive, so there could be some margin of error there. But aside from that, I would also like to mention the SSD's decrease in boot time when there was no other hard drives connected to the system. This improvement in speed didn't translate to many other areas, so even if you have a hard drive in your system slowing down your boot up speed by around 10 or so seconds, such as mine, I don't think it's worth disconnecting all hard drives from your computer and utilizing that speed, since you would probably have to get external hard drive enclosures, which would be a hassle and waste of money if you use many hard drives. And in one other benchmark, there really wasn't any improvement. The one outlier being the benchmark for GTA 5, booting up to its home menu. This was not very surprising since almost all of the time taken in that benchmark consisted of video playback and displaying legal information, not actually loading up anything very substantial storage wise. Now I have been using this SSD for about 2 weeks or so, and I will tell you about my personal experience and differences I have noticed from my previous boot drive. So in general, my whole system has been performing a lot faster. And simple things such as opening Chrome, browsing through files, or through different menus in games such as Modern Warfare are all significantly faster. One of the main reasons why I purchased this SSD was because I transfer a lot of data around in and out of my computer. And so I had planned to purchase an external SSD to replace my external hard drive, but in order to utilize that speed, I would require an SSD in my computer. So in conclusion, the Gamex S7 is well worth your purchase in my opinion, even with the speed drop due to Windows and housing over a terabyte of data. Alright everyone, so that's going to be the video for today. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.